so much like i, I want to do all of that and i can't believe you never did that and never helped my mom my mom finally grew some balls that's right he never helped me <laughs> ever <laughs> and then my dad the best point ever he's just like did you or did you not starve in my house <laughs> okay then shut the fuck up okay i didn't wake up because i had to work hold on she didn't ever work so i worked Okay, and I'm like, well, that makes sense. Yeah, one didn't yeah, work. They also get have it. like it's selective memory too. Like, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Whenever it's, it's like some shit. In five, four. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. <laughs> fucking weak, dude. Three, oh, two, one. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Genius Brain Podcast. We are at like episode 450 something. Been doing this for about six years, and we got we got Jesus who can't handle his alcohol at all, at all. What you don't like that? No, for Genius Brain, this is a stupid idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is no. You know, I don't do like hardcore stuff, but man, what, they what, burn. Do you, what do you drink normally, dude? A Modelo. Look at my body, dude. I've been gaining some weight, Modelo, you don't drink buddy. Hard liquor? Nah, I used to, but not no more. Nah. Why? Because nah. I start saying the N word. <laughs> You know, normal stuff, dude. Let's start talking about politics, dude. You know what I'm talking about. No, but uh, I just, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm weak. You'll see. You'll see. Oh, y'all fucked up. <laughs> y'all fucked up. Okay. We'll see. You'll we'll see. see. You'll see. Gonna get, I'm going to ruin his career in one I'm fucking cool. podcast yeah. episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I start, like, talking like a rapper, that's when you know I'm, I'm too drunk. Like, too and, like, and, like, real talk, like, you don't even know. Like, yo, he's code switching right he now. He never like, says real talk yeah. ever. Yeah. Final ever. Form. Yeah. We this got Patrick.T. Riley, also, of Come course, a recurring guest highly fucking requested but this I guy over here decided to move cities and shit dude mm -hmm. move cities move to slow small town slow dude this fool came to visit me recently let me tell you about this handsome guy all right <laughs> He takes me to his town to show me how like ugly I am. You know what I'm saying? Like we walks around and girls are just like, "Hey," uh, and he's just like, "Oh yeah, for sure." Like just hitting on him. He's like, "You guys want some beer?" I'm like, "Dude, this girl just isn't that some fuck." Girl wants to fuck. <laughs> isn't that some fucking yeah. shit when there's a good looking person and you don't know what it feels like? Yes. Let me, let me tell you this. Exactly. So, I'll, 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 I'll say it, David. <laughs> I've seen this guy work. We were yeah. at a bar in Little Tokyo, right? And there was this girl like behind there, oh, and God. immediately he knows the things to say. Yeah. See, I don't know these things. Look, like, I'm married. Yeah. So I'm way out the game. We're out. We're, right. we're done. We don't know how to react. He just yeah. comes up. He's like, oh, what's the, what's the kind of share? <laughs> <laughs> you know? yeah. And the girl's like, oh, yeah. it's pink. And they just, <laughs> yeah. just start chatting. I'm like, what the fuck yeah. is this? Hey, dude, and he does like, he, I know he has confidence because he does eye contact. Oh. Like, I can't look at a girl in the eyes that long. I'm just looking and then look away. No. Looking away. This guy's just like staring to the face. What are you drinking? Uh, I'm drinking a margarita. <laughs> And this guy takes a sip. Do you mind if yeah, I, I just... stare at our armpits. Dude. Yeah, he's like... It, that's what you just be doing. Do you mind if I just... <laughs> and he's just like, oh, yeah. How do you do that, oh dude? How do you, how do you talk to women so smoothly? And then we also had Jason Chenney next to us. That's this, little dude, no, tar, that different. Guy, and completely no, different. Dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> enough. This guy... I Jason's over here like, I'm like, well, Jason, you get you <laughs> Yeah, what's, the, what's the fabric of your t-shirt? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it might be nice, yeah. yeah. And it, I, every time I talk to Jason, I'm like, yo, focus, 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 Jason. You good? You good? Oh, you got to put a laser pointer on your forehead so you can like, look at it. Yeah, that's hilarious. 100%. That's dude. Jason Cheney right there. Mouth forever open, Jason Cheney. Uh-huh. What's uh -huh. your social security number? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. little Jason one time in my, in my old studio that I had in my house. He was at my, was, I'm outside. I was like, cool, I go to get him. This fool's like half his body is inside my garbage can. <laughs> I don't fucking know why. Yeah, I'm guys, like, it's a weird boy. what are you doing in my garbage can? He goes, yeah. I just want to see what's inside. <laughs> he wants to see what kind of trash you got. Yeah. Wow. Like, what the fuck what do the you mean? He's a weird boy, dude. Get the fuck out of my garbage can, dude. Yeah, Jason fucking. looks like he enjoys smelling farts. Yeah. Like, enjoys it. You know, some of us were like, ah, it's a pungent. But he's like, oh, like he wants to, you know. It's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, yeah, he gourmet, enjoys like it a little bit. I think yeah. he actually got diagnosed with autism. I think oh, so. Did. No, I don't think that. Yeah, yeah right? he told us. He yeah. told us. Yeah, his, or his he, therapist was like, I think you have autism. He didn't even. <laughs> which I guess was a diagnosis. She started roasting him like this. Dog, yeah. <laughs> You're a fucking he dumbass. Didn't even, he didn't even have to go get checked. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. just talking to him. I'm like, yeah, you got something. Something's going on. He just walked into the office. She goes, yep, got it. Yeah, yeah. right. That's about it. No, that's the boy. That's the homie, though. Well, the hot topic that people wanted us to talk about uh this week was look i understand on this podcast i talk about topics really fucking late but we do a podcast once a week yeah and there's stuff that's back backlogged so they want us to talk about the fucking olympics okay and did you guys watch the olympics a lot when you were a kid 
And when I was a kid, yeah. When I was a kid, I would I would actually watch it a lot. It was like an yeah. event. Everybody got hyped every it was a four thing, years right? yeah. to watch that shit. I feel like now it kind of died off. Nobody really watches it as much. We yeah. got options. Yeah. <laughs> we got shows now whenever yeah. I want to see them. Back then, it was whatever's on is yeah. on. Channel 4. So then I'm like, yo, this is on. Let's watch this. Yeah. This is exciting. Yeah. You, know? yeah. you go to a Pizza Hut, a sit down, and it's on. Everybody's having a good time. Yeah. We're it's watching it. It's a it. different. It, it's right. Because we have a lot of options now. And things aren't as exciting as it used to be. So like I remember like as a kid just waiting for the Olympics to come by. I always wanted to watch wrestling, you know, taekwondo, yeah. uh, and basketball, right? Those are the three sports I always wanted to fucking watch. Wow. Yeah. But other than that, oh, and then obviously there's like the Winter Olympics. The fucking they got that thing now. What's that thing where they scrape the ice with the, that ball? That I don't know what curling, that is, but that curling. is like, that's addicting. Every time I watch it, I'm like, this is lame. But I end up just watching the whole thing. I'm curling, like addicted to it. Yeah, yeah, curling is actually sick, dude. I actually like curling too. Their intensity in their eyes, like the little soft. Breathing. I don't understand what the pointing, what point system is. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, know what. Happening. I think you knock one of those little balls out the way. I don't know what it is. It's like shuffleboard but with a broom. When I when, here's the thing with me. I when every time I catch the Olympics, I'm always catching the swimming and I'm always catching the the gymna, j, gymnastics. Gymnastics. <laughs> That's all. I'm, I never caught anything else. Those are the only two things that I would always you catch. Didn't watch any of the the basketball games? No. Bro, it was so fucking dope this year. It was really fucking good. Today, I mean, this year it was a, a thing, right? Everybody I was heard talking about it. Dude, Steph Curry. Uh, it was a clutch. dream team, yeah. No, USA almost amazing. lost like three times or some shit, right? Yeah, but they, you know, came in clutch. Thought it was fucking amazing. I thought my dumb genius brain was thinking that USA won every time, every year. Yeah. In basketball, basically. They like, should, basketball right? always. But they, they have they never? Well, well now like, like, the, the conversation is that. They're making these conversations about who's greater. Was it the dream team or they call them what they call them the Avengers now, right? So because they're saying that the level of competition is so much more now uh, because uh, now you have NBA players that are playing for their country. So they're actually playing against USA NBA players. Got it. Oh, but back gotcha. in the day with Michael Jordan and everybody else, they never faced that type of competition. So they're kind of dumbing down what the dream team did, which I disagree. I disagree gotcha. too, bro. Yeah, I fucking Come disagree. Come on, dude. Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan. Exactly. Scotty Pippen. Like the legend. The best fucking Well, the players. fucking rumor is, is that, you know how all this, like, uh, information is coming out about, well, they're, they're comparing LeBron to, to Jordan, right? Right. But there's this rumor that the per people who are spreading rumors about Jordan, like, making those comparisons is actually LeBron's camp. So they're the ones putting out, like, oh, well. No. <laughs> they're putting that, that fake news type of uh They're making all it? the rumors, and they're the one that's starting the drama. That's hilarious. The conversation of dumbing down Michael Jordan's legacy. What to LeBron that's, that's, that's like a Drake move. Dude, like Drake, that's a Drake <laughs> rap did, battle move. Dude. I did that that's in high school is. about kissing and, and, like, hooking up. I used to be like, you know, you know, like, tell people, like, hey, I was a good kisser. So tell the homies and tell it. The girls like about stuff. yourself being a good kisser, and all the homies started spraying it with all the homegirls and all the, and oh, then they started nice. talking and this and that. Did it work? So it worked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was fucking okay, it worked. When I went to a party, I was like, and I saw a girl just see me, and lights lit up. I'm like, she just heard the rumor, dude. <laughs> I heard it, you know, this is she just heard that shit. It's fucking, but it works. Spreading fake news, that works. It works. That's politics right there. That's what that's called, dude. I remember in high wow. school that if you could do open a starburst with your tongue, remember people would just put the starburst in and they'd be like. Oh, and it would just come out perfectly. Right. They were like, never, damn, that might be some Mexican shit, dude. What? Yeah. No, dude, you never. No, you put a, a Starburst with the wrapper. No, ours was a Chinese finger trap when we put it on our tongue and we do this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, that's next level okay. shit right there, dude. <laughs> Uncle's dick. That's, 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 I'm sorry. Definitely the next level uh, move right there. But, dude, I remember the Starburst thing. The Starburst thing and the yeah. cherry. The cherry stem. The cherry thing. With the little, I never do the Starburst thing. So you had to unwrap a fucking Starburst. If you could unwrap no. the Starburst with your tongue, like you throw it in there and you could unwrap it good. And just and bring eat out it. the wrapper. Like, like, how tight? Fold it. Origami just came if you, out. If we had a Starburst, swamp. I could do it right now. But dude, that's how good I am. I Hell yeah, dude. I ended up, that look. <laughs> dude, I ended up just eating it. Like, I got <laughs> <laughs> with the papers. I just eat it with the paper. Open up your mouth. Nothing's in there. Uh, see, pretty dude. good, right? <laughs> just gone, ate paper. No, I had to figure it out. Yeah, I fucking put the whole. Have thing you seen it? somebody actually tie a cherry stem in their mouth? Mm -hmm. I could do it. It looks stupid. You could do yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, it did. like this. Your the yeah, yeah. Here's the thing. You're right. <laughs> My face ain't looking sexy. I'm literally like this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> drooling. I was like, look at this yeah, cherry right. impression. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Dude, trying to looks like I'm trying to count. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. So you're right. It's not sexy, but yeah, yeah. I still did it. Like yeah. uh, all bleeding. My gums are all fucking <laughs> I, scraped. Like, I remember the cherry stem. And I saw like you know people trying to do it, and I'm yeah. like, this is not attractive at all. Nah. And it's been ten minutes. Like, yeah, Nina, yeah. Can, can we How long? Yeah. There's got to be a time limit. Like, yeah. it's, it's either thirty seconds or you suck. Like, you yeah. know. 
Like, it was from a movie that it started from, right? Probably. Uh, the cherry stem, I don't know about the starburst, but the cherry stem probably. Dude, also, it doesn't, tra- like, those moves, I guess just hard pushing. Like, okay, that doesn't cherry- translate to kissing at all. Like, cherry stem, We can we put in the category of white shit? For sure, right? Yeah, 100%. That's white shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's Mexican shit, then? Well, uh, I think that like or... Like a hot Cheetos bag or something. Hot <laughs> Cheetos bag. <laughs> Mexican shit. Just open it Look up. at my fingers, dude. I, I have no stains on it. <laughs> yeah, I have no stains. How did I do that? <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. No, in uh, high school, like I remember, like. Well, what, I mean, okay. Go it ahead. was like during that time. I feel like when we were young, like everything you did as a young boy with so much testosterone was like trying to impress the opposite sex. For sure, hundred percent. Any fucking chance that you get. And most of the time, you would look absolutely fucking stupid. Always. Like, I always wonder what, like, our parents thought of us trying to do this shit. Like, trying to look cool. When we, you know, first day of school, you have to dress your fucking best. Right, right. Get the haircut. See what everybody right. else is wearing. Like, I remember when I got these Air, these white Air Force Ones, and I was like, everybody's going to know I got this shit on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it worked. Yeah, like, yeah but it was, it was fly. Air yeah. Force Ones was a thing. So yeah. what's, like, the dumbest thing you did for a girl or to impress a girl? What's, like, the, just the dumbest shit? That you're like to this day you're like that's a lot, why did I do that yeah I know but with, the, there's not one that haunts you I that you're like I, I sang a song to a girl on the phone oh <laughs> wow <laughs> Patrick you know, here's the thing you know let me tell you something man I don't you think you know all these stories where I said where this guy's like super good with women I lied yeah. <laughs> yeah. he's corny <laughs> he's corny <laughs> yo my man you corny I learned trial trial and error is how I learned Pat, okay, I did all what, the things wrong what song was then, it tell us what song it was it was. Uh, it was by Fat Boy Slim. That's the thing. It was, uh, That's the thing, dude. I want to praise you like I should. That, you, 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 yo, 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 yo. I was, yo. I was actually. Oh. You're not going to get pussy like that, dude. What's wrong with you? I was in ninth grade. Yeah, I was a freshman. I mean, we were already kind of dating so, at the this time. Is only child shit right here. You know, we were the, dating only, at the time. Only child shit. Yeah, this is, you nobody told you, you like, to call you know, gay, what the fuck you do? They got to show you how to, you know, okay, so shows like, you game. We were, we, were, we were already dating. It was yeah. my first girlfriend. Her name was Crystal. Met her on MySpace. She was from Commerce. Oh, uh, sure. I know, yeah. So uh, I was in Chicago. I was like away with my family. Whatever, we were talking on the phone. She's like, sing a song to me. Sing a song to me. And I like went out by myself and like sang... For some reason, <laughs> Wait, why was she Fat requesting a song? A song? I don't know if she requested or if I just did it. Like, if it, <laughs> wow, if it yeah, just felt just right. Felt for it. How was the energy? Felt right. Hold on, bitch. Let me get my key right. <laughs> like, and you know right. what sucks is that she was like, she was like, oh, you have a really good voice, and I knew that I didn't. Yeah. So it like hurt. I was like more embarrassed. Don't lie to me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, thank you. I, like, what is that shit at that age where you just feel like you can't help yourself but do that? Like, oh, I just yeah. remember, you're just a kid. Yeah, like, you, just, you just can't help. It's almost like there's like, yeah. you're possessed. Yeah, like, yeah. You would never do that now. Well, you're also. It, it was yeah, also. I mean. It's also. You think you like. You think love is what you've seen on TV and in movies. You're just kind of putting like it's like a collage of shit you think about love, and yeah. you're just like putting it together, and you're like, this is what it is. And one of those things in my mind was like, yeah, guys sing songs to girls yeah. if they like them. You know what I mean? But also like the movies that we were watch will literally tell you like. Don't go after the girl just to impress them. Go after the girl that's right there with you that's getting to know you. And we still said, I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> I'm trying to get the bitch I can't, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to get the bad bitch at school. But that's what and your friends over here like, hey, you want to draw with me? Like you did that. Oh, bitch, uh, not right now. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? We're friends. We will always be friends. <laughs> Shit. Fuck, girls keep trying. Did, girls did that too, though. Yeah, girls for sure did that. Girls to always dudes. did that shit yeah, too. Yeah, like yeah. for some reason, we always long for the person that we couldn't get, even though the yeah. right person was right there. Right there, exactly. And it happened all the fucking time. That's human all the time. Shit, though. When I when I was in high, so this isn't my story, but this is a this is, this is a cousin of mine, which I didn't know he did this shit. So me and my buddy Vince, yeah, we know he knows my cousin, right? And they're all friends. They all dance together. This guy has always been one of those sappy, emotional dudes. Let me tell you what this motherfucker does. Sappy, emotional <laughs> dudes. Yeah, so yeah. everybody was in the car, and they were all supposed to go and kick it together. So he was the only one with a whip. He was the only one with the driver's license. Mm, so yeah. He's the one that controls everything that we do. Yes. That's how it is. Mm-hmm. So as we're going somewhere, apparently he decides. He goes, hey, I got to stop by somewhere real quick. And we're like, okay, where, who, where? We go to this house, and he goes, he goes to get us out of his car, he gets the, a guitar out of his trunk. No. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, what the Tuned fuck? up guitar, dude. What the fuck is going on? So he goes into the house, right? 
closes the door and it's like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Suddenly, motherfucker singing an acoustic song to a girl. <laughs> That's hilarious. For half an hour. No, dude, no. No AC. No. 100 oh degrees. God, no. We're, we're literally in Guantanamo Bay. Inside no, the car, dude. Right? We're just like, yo, it. what the fuck? He's That's... singing off key for half an hour. Oh, no. Off for pussy, dude. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> That's wild. That's he left wild his boys shit. in the car dying. Comes back in like nothing's wrong. He goes, what do you guys want to do? It's like, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll fucking kill you right now, dude. For wasting my life. I'll literally kill you right, right now. now. Half an yeah. hour. Would you ever do that to any of your friends? That's nah. hilarious. But That's he, wild. I don't know what it was with this guy, but he was always that lover boy, too. Like where, it, you know, in the family part, there's always like one family member that's super sensitive. Like my whole family is like me. We're all like a bunch of jokesters. We roast each other. We have fun. But he was the one guy that couldn't take a fucking joke. Mm. Oh, so that's the other side of the family right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's where he's got that, that shit. He got so mad one time uh, at, at Thanksgiving. I forgot what I made. It was something really fucking small. He was like eating a hungry man dinner when everybody's having Thanksgiving food. I don't know. He was like emotional about some shit. Yeah, yeah. And I think I just called him a pussy real yeah. quick. I was like, what pussy eats a hungry man dinner during Thanksgiving? <laughs> yeah. He slams the hungry man dinner. Makes a scene. He makes a scene, gets up, and he just walks home. And, and his house, yeah. by the way, is like an hour away. Oh, no, what dude. <laughs> just so people can talk about him and be like, oh, yeah. where is he? Where? Yeah, yeah. He just wants attention. That's crazy. Yeah. People like that are wild. Like his parents they were exist. so sick of him, too. They were just like, let him walk. Oh, <laughs> they, fuck. Yeah, they yeah. all just started eating like he <laughs> oh dude Loki oh, I mean I had honestly I would say this I had like my emo times where I have pulled some shit like that and my dad would just op it would just make fun of me for it yeah, yeah. But you need which that, is the appropriate yeah. response I yeah mean, that's he, what should happen we were I, I remember when he said something I just <laughs> snapped I just fucking couldn't take it this this is like when I was into Lincoln Park and all that shit so yeah. I was fucking angry all the time <laughs> right taking it all on him out on him and I remember he said something and I said oh yeah well, then when I just walked in, I remember just saying, I'm screaming that. Well, if you don't let me, I'll just, I'll just walk. I'll just walk home then. And I left. And he's like, hey, get the hell out of here. Start walking. Because, <laughs> and then I'm just like, whatever. And I start walking, dude. And it was like, an hour. it took me like two hours to get to. We were like the other side of town. <laughs> and when he picked me up, dude, he like, dude, he, they stayed at the game. They didn't give a fuck. It was my brother's soccer game. And we fucking drove back, dude. It was all the sun's coming down. My ankles are burning. And he fi I finally run into him. He like finds the street because yeah, I was... Yeah. I also could have gone to like the small street so he couldn't find me, but a part of me wanted him to find me. I wanted him like, <laughs> to see his son just fucking kicking rocks and just, you know, on his, you know? Yeah, yeah. And right. then he pulls to the side, get in. And I'm like, no, I'm just going to keep walking. I'm already home. Come on, get the hell in. And so I get in there, I sit down, and instead of having a moment like, don't do that, this is, my dad's like, fucking Forrest Gump. Let me tell you, come <laughs> on. You start, this guy's walking. I got to cross the United States because I'm sad and I'm gay. And I'm like, <laughs> opposite of what i wanted you know yeah. i wanted attention yeah. i wanted a little bit of love and i just got clowned on for the Old whole week don't give a fuck about yeah. those the yeah, whole yeah. week dude my yeah. my dad so my brother was the favorite child right he oh, loved yeah. my brother my brother could do absolutely really no fucking wrong so i remember this one time where my 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 dad and my brother got into this huge fucking fight it was over this girl that he was dating he fucking hated her and she was a piece of shit like i understand but you know when you're young like we're just talking about this mm -hmm. you're madly in love you can't think straight right so they get into this huge fucking fight and then my brother says the most scarring thing that he could ever say to my dad especially as his favorite son he goes don't talk to me anymore. Get the fuck out of my face. You're not even my father. Don't ever call me your son. Damn. Whoa. My dad walks over to the fucking couch, lays down, covers his eyes, and starts bawling. Whoa. Whoa. I've never seen my dad cry before. You know what the fucked up shit is? The year before that, I said the same thing. He kicked me out and he locked the door. No way, <laughs> dude. No, I, that, that's rough. That's I, a rough one, dude. I was so <laughs> fucking mad witnessing this, like, love, yeah. like this child. Because my brother walked over, he yeah. put his hand on his chest, and they both started crying together. <laughs> Yo, the year bro. before that, I literally said, I'm fucking out of here. I hate you. He goes, okay. <laughs> he goes, that's okay. Dude, this explains why you were chubby, dude. You were eating your fucking feelings, dude. This no. guy would just open a fucking a box full of Oreos and just fuck that shit, dude. I walked outside. I heard the door close, and there was like 17 uh, locks that hit. I didn't even know we had that many. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you can hear him like pull a door in <laughs> <laughs> to lock it even more, dude. I'm that's hilarious. Locks. I waited <laughs> outside God. for like a few hours. I was hoping he was going to chase me. didn't come out. And I knocked on the door. He was like, oh, I thought you were leaving. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh, 
Oh, I you Goodbye. Bye-bye. You know? <laughs> it was like fucking roasting me and shit. Yo, that's some uh, tough shit, dude. I was so fucking mad. And then, you know, I bring that up today, and I asked him why he did that. And it's always the same as too. He goes, because you were the tough one. You could take it. I was like, no, you hated me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Do you believe it? I mean, I don't know. Sometimes don't, I'm like, no, dude, you were just being a dick. You're <laughs> just an asshole. Yeah, we can tell you love someone else. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest. It's, it's obvious now. Even yeah. my mom told me that later on, now that we talk so much, uh -huh. I was like, hey, like... <laughs> He was the favorite, right? He goes, of course he was. <laughs> like, he was a straight so A student. Crazy. Yeah, He's so never funny. gotten into any fucking fights. He's like, you were dropping out of high school. You were terrible. You like, walk he was, hard. He was like, you were really hard to love. That's what my mom said. That's like, so that's funny. Damn. You were hard but, to love. But I was my mom's favorite, though. Because mm, okay. we could talk. We could have fun and joke around a lot. Mm -hmm. But my dad's favorite was always the firstborn boy. Mm. Yeah. And he's never been able. Even till this day, my dad babies my brother. And he's wow. three years older than me. He's mm. he's like forty years old. No oh, shit. And so like, let me just tell you, this is a fucking true story. So this this past Christmas, my brother comes over. Me and my brother are there, and he the this is the good thing about being the not favorite child. They just don't pay attention to you. So my brother gets all the unwanted attention now that he's older. Mm. So my brother my dad comes through, and my brother's sitting on the couch chilling. He walks over. He goes, "You need to shave your pace." And my brother's like, "I don't need to shave my face. I'm growing out my beard." He goes, "He's ugly." Shaved. It's all ugly. He just goes to the room. <laughs> he comes out. Just straight up. It's all ugly. He has a hot towel and nah, shaving cream. Dude, are he you goes, serious? I'm going to shave your pace. <laughs> and my brother's like screaming. He's like, don't fucking touch my face. I want my beard. He goes, oh, I got to shave your pace. I want to shave your pace. <laughs> what know? the fuck? And they're yelling at each other. That and then finally, like, fine, fuck it. Shave my face. He goes, fine. My bro he my dad, I don't even know where he got this. I think it's from those Indian barber videos. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Dude. He takes the <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah, I've seen those. But he just starts slapping. <laughs> yeah, dude, he just starts slapping and putting it on. <laughs> he takes the shaving cream, doesn't even put it on his beard. He starts at the forehead. <laughs> and then you just see Yo, my brother that's just covering his uh, shaving cream. You can't see his eyes and mouth. All you see is like... Shaving cream flying out. He goes, if you shave my fucking eyebrows, I'm going to fucking kill you. And you just see, like, shaving cream splatter out. Oh, my God. Dude. And, and he's just shaving his forehead. Oh, my with, God. I'm like, dog, what the fuck is happening? And yeah, what's going on with your dad, God, dude? my mom comes out. <laughs> my mom's, like, weird enough. She's fucking crazy, too. She comes out. She goes, like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. And he goes, I'm shaving his face. And she's like, why? D don't do this. Leave him alone. <laughs> And so he goes, no, I'm going to do it. So he shaves my brother's fucking face and he gives him this whole barber treatment because he wants, because he's trying to make his favorite son look the best. Oh. You know? I was, okay. I, cause I, cause I was so like trying wild. to get, where is this fucking, where is this coming from? It's like he just hates hair. He's like, <laughs> he just, what the fuck? Oh! He just like, pays so much attention to him. Like if, He wants him mm, to be perfect, dude. So if my mm, brother farts yeah. immediately, he goes, what's wrong with your stomach? You, uh, stomach ache? Oh, Are you hurt? You want me to get you medicine? You want me to damn me like that? It's like so. My brother hates going back home. <laughs> That's like, fucking. David's like, <laughs> yeah. fucking shitting himself. I'm sick too. Get out, <laughs> your, get out, out of my way, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> dude. That's crazy. So you felt the just the change in yeah. Your brother and now and you. it's like oh. It's kind of nice not being favored like that because mm. he just lets me live my life. I see. So he's not on you or like, yeah. He's not on me but about anything. Was it just you two? Did you have any other siblings? Or? No, it was just me and my brother. That was okay. it. Yeah. And then I'll also, like, I we don't, we don't have a lot of family here. So it was me, my brother, and my cousin. We would kick it a lot, too. Got you. And the funny thing, I feel like it's like with all immigrant parents, is like, interchangeably, uncles and aunts can all whoop your ass. Oh, yeah. So Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, like that, that yeah. type of thing. Like, I was, when I, <laughs> my cousin would get so mad because if I fucked up, he would get his ass whooped too. So right. <laughs> like, I, well, one time after church, I was I was acting up or whatever, and my dad made us all do yard work, and then my cousin was over. He goes, what are you doing? Get your ass to the back, dude. And so he's like doing yard work yeah. for six hours. He's like, I'm never coming over here ever again. Yeah, dude, that used to be the thing, huh? If you had chores and somebody was over, yeah. they're doing chores with you. <laughs> yeah. You want to play with like it? It's just not... I wonder it's if not like that parents anymore. like still do that now because nah, because like, mm -hmm. I think we figured out that that's called trauma. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, we're just like, yeah, abuse. I don't know if I want to do that. Like you know, because yeah, having a, a, my a, my son like I I do things that I'm like I know my dad never did. You yeah, know, like sure. I fucking I like I'll change them and stuff like that, like rock them. And it sounds so stupid. But in my generation, like they dads just didn't do that. Yeah. The moms took care of all that. Right. The changes of everyone. He gets up in the morning like I have to like rock him sometimes. You know, I mean, I'm helping is what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm, like yeah. we take with 50 50 would be my girl. But yeah, my dad would never do that. I know he never did that. And he even said he's like, oh, I don't need. Pff. Hey, that's why. And it was funny because I called him and I was like, I can't believe like you wouldn't do that like that's crazy like i love him so much like i i want to do all of that 
And I can't believe you never did that. And never helped my mom. My mom finally grew some balls. That's right. He never helped me. <laughs> ever. <laughs> and then my dad, the best point ever, he's just like, did you or did you not starve in my house? <laughs> okay, then shut the fuck up. Okay. I didn't wake up because I had to work. Hold on. She didn't work. So I worked. Okay. And I'm like, well, that makes sense. Yeah, one didn't yeah, work. They so also get have it. like it's, selective memory too. Like, yeah, sure. Yeah, whenever it's, it's like some shit that happened that you'll bring it up to them and it never fucking happened. He goes, when? Yeah. When did I oh, do yeah. that? Mm -hmm. It's like, dog, I got witnesses. Dog, <laughs> dog you don't fucking. Dude. I just had a conversation with my dad about how my brother's not paying for insurance or his car payment. I'm like, he needs to learn how we did. We had to, when the fuck did you pay for the car payment? Car? When? When did I pay for the car? And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like every fucking check, we had to discount some money and give it to you. Are you fucking kidding me right now? And he swore, oh, nunca, never pay yeah. for a car. I pay for everything. I'm like, who is this guy right now? Like yeah, you yeah. did not. When the fuck did you pay for everything? Like what are you talking about? It's almost Dude, like they know you charged me they for everything. Can't admit it. Dude, my mom. I had a conversation with her recently, and she got it. So she was talking about. Uh, we were just having a conversation. She got emotional. She's like, I only hit you two times in my life. She's like, I only hit you twice, and she like kind of started tearing up. She's like, I only hit you twice. She's like, one time you were being an asshole, and she was like, I was doing karate, and she was like, and I went die, and I hit you in the chest. And we started, like, she was like, your mom was doing karate. She, my mom was doing karate. <laughs> oh, that's fucking wild, dude. Yeah, yeah, so was like, this is a, during the Karate Kids phase. She, so yeah, it was a thing back in the nineties. She 90s. was like, estabas temblando del dolor, like you were shaking from the pain, like, and she was like, my mom was tearing up and like she getting emotional, and I was like watching her tell me this, and I was like, I have like at least. 30 vivid yeah. memories. Yeah, yeah, you're like, of you uh, beating uh, my ass, dude. And she's like crying over she those, 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 those two. She's like two. Like, she's like, Cause those two, she really wanted to kick your ass. You know, the other ones are disciplined, but that one was just like a fuck this guy. <laughs> and she did the technique too. She was like, Dah! <laughs> she did the horse. Like, oh. Yeah. I, and I was like, what happened to the other 28 times, dude, that I, I can remember? I did see, I do remember two versions of my dad growing up. I remember like my dad when he'd get off of work and then my dad when he was like drunk. When he was like a drunk dad, it was like everything that he didn't like, he didn't give a fuck about. He was like the coolest fucking hang mm. when he was drunk. He was loose. Like, bro, when we would go to like Burger King or something, we were like big Burger King. We love Burger King. So we would go eat. We would like have to buy like the small hamburgers and we would buy like a large fries and share it. When he was drunk, look, get, get, get whatever you want. And I love drunk dad. Like drunk yeah. dad was like, we would buy me like a whole fucking meal yeah. with my own drink. And I was like, this is fucking, I love this guy. This yeah, guy's yeah. fucking great. Yeah. So my, when every time you get drunk, my mom hated it, but we loved it. We're like, this is gonna, we know he's gonna be like a good hang. Yeah, yeah. Like he's blasting music and we're like, and we don't know the he's trouble driving. <laughs> yeah, we don't know the trouble. Dude, back then it was like drinking and driving was like a thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, I remember that shit. I remember There's he got a DUI. Right now they're like, no, it's not. Like, Bro, the fuck? drinking and driving was like a thing in the night. And I remember my dad got a DUI when we were in the car, and I remember the cop like back then it was a ticket. Yeah, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't I a big deal. They, they'll just Did give you, see, you a like, ticket. My dad had like three back DUIs. In the day when they were uh, they put the law that drinking and driving was illegal, and there's people being interviewed. And oh like, yeah, I saw that. Oh, yeah. And they're just and like, they're like well, oh, they're gonna take my rights. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess it's not America anymore. <laughs> Take my goddamn rights, government, and that's what you want. <laughs> Didn't know America was communist. As she has her kid in her fucking, right, in her lap and drinking yeah. and shit. Whiskey in the bottle yeah. and everything. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. fucking crazy. But I do remember my mom had to switch sides and my dad was driving and turned it up. Oh, get my fuck. <laughs> they used to do some dangerous shit. I, my dad used to have this red Toyota pickup truck <laughs> and we used to just like ride in the back. Yes. Yes, yes, I remember yeah, that too. That was the best. Like on the verge of dying all the yeah, time. That was the best. And they would like hit the brakes on purpose to see us all like, ah! like hey, fucking look at the kids. <laughs> like, boom, yeah. no one time I remember making my dad laugh so hard when I was younger was when we were in the car and I had this uh, sunny delight. And I was about to drink it, and he fucking stomps on the brake and just <laughs> splashes all over my face. Oh, fuck. And my dad was mm. crying laughing, dude. Because of that? Yeah, just laughing at my face. <laughs> you fucking idiot. And I was like, dude, I never saw my dad laugh. That's but then funny. he was just laughing at me so fucking hard. But then I, I remember just thinking about him, like, wait, we didn't, we weren't laughing together, though. Like, uh, you were he was like at, at you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and you set the joke up, dude. But he remembers that, like, didn't we have such a good time? I'm like, no, I didn't, dude. I, we, I was on the way to school. <laughs> like, I went to school with a fucking, fucking stain asshole. on my shirt. Yeah. And then I had like this whole stain. My mom was like, what happened to your shirt? I was yeah. like, dad did it. And then because he stopped, and my mom screaming at him. And then my dad was like, you snitch. <laughs> right. <laughs> you ruined Poor our David moment. Fucking picture day, dude. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs>
Well, guys, uh, <laughs> that wraps up this episode of the Genius Brain Podcast. We're doing so. shorter episodes now. We're going to be doing more stuff on the channel, but I know a lot of you guys have been saying I've been missing a lot of uh, episodes, but we can't do hour and a half one. I got a lot of shit to do. I got businesses in Hawaii I got to take care of, you know, big boy shit. Mm -hmm. uh, Genius Brain, every Sunday at 12 p.m. You can catch Patrick on his Instagram, patrick.t.riley. Jesus, what's yours? Jesus, the comedian. That's it. Jesus, the comedian. So on Instagram. There, performing make sure that you go check it out you'll see all their links in the bio below you'll see it in the comments make sure you check all their shit out funny as fuck we'll see y'all next time peace sure.